Well, happy Saturday market day. Yay! I don't know how they're gonna go. Um. Are you how I make the sticker? It's been busy. It's been busy. And now it's time for a bit of a... I can actually hang them off of a display. Hi guys, I'm Tracy and I run a small art business where I sublimate onto a different range of products uh, like wine covers, and coffee cup covers, ceramic boards, and keychains, and a whole heap of other stuff. I also love art. This is one of my paintings I've just recently entered into the Martin Hansen. And I also do a lot of markets and pop-ups, and I love to take you along to see what I do and how I go. So if this is something you're interested in, then I'd love it for you to subscribe and like. It really helps me along. But first up, I really need to tidy up. This place is a disaster. So I've only got five days to the market and I have three tables to fill. So what I'm doing is I'm first bringing in all the boxes and I'm gonna do a mock-up. And I've got a lot of these boxes and crates from Kmart, they're pretty cheap. And I'm just placing everything on the table and trying to work out where I wanna put everything. This will change quite a bit. And then I wanted to organize a pegboard on this turntable display. It's, it's uh, I've usually just had keychains hanging off of it but this time I'm going to add the car coasters I'm trying to work out exactly how to hang them um, actually undo them and rechange them a few times so hopefully it works well I've just had my wine stoppers, my beaded pens, um, some other products as well. And I had the pens in these plastic bags, I suppose. I thought they looked pretty and had them sitting just on the table in a pen rack. But they didn't actually sell that well. So that's why I'm going to try putting them in, in a different packaging and hanging them. And so I'm really happy now. I, I have had these beaded pens. I didn't know how to package them. I'm doing a pop up. And so um, this is the way I'm going to package the pen so I can actually hang and make the most of what I'm doing. I think they look quite nice. Um, they package quite well and they're definitely letting you know what, what I'm selling and for how much. So I thought that was good. And then I've also made these these really cute, they're silicon bracelets and they're, they're like um, food, they're food grade. So, you, you know, they won't, they're not toxic or anything. They're actually quite expensive, the beads, they're silicon. And I've put them together. I've got a little package, a uh, little note saying, you know, they're not really for three and under. They're more for an older child who likes to, likes the touch of them. Um, so anyway, I've packaged them too and put on there a, um, a price to show. And I'm doing deals where you can, you know, buy something for one price and then two, four, and you get it a bit cheaper. Plus you can mix and match. So that is a really good way of selling your products. It's called upselling and it works really well. Oh, don't mind me, just having a quick snack. Um, and I've got all my art coffee cup covers. This is the packaging for them. And I need to make the stickers. So I'm going to go over to the computer. I'm going to show you how I make the sticker. How I make the circle, put the text on, print it out on the Cricut. If you want to make your own labels like this. It's actually very easy and quite cheap. Although making stickers is a bit of a pain. But if you're used to making them, 
There's no reason you can't make your own. All right, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so here I am on the Cricut and oh, Cricut Design Space and I pick a shape which will be a circle because I want circles on my as my labels and I'm just going to size it work out what size that you want it and I'm going to change the color um, I'm thinking I'd like something more pink that's how I'm going to go with it and um, then I want to find a text so I have a text that I quite like and I'm going to just type in what it is. It's the iced coffee covers. I want that to be darker. So click that, make it a bit darker and then resize it so that it's smaller. And then I'll put that onto the label. So then I have my first text, but when I want to put in the next part, I'll just go back to text, get the writing again, and type in the next words, and add them to the label, or change the color to dark, and just shrink it down, or get the little, make the size smaller by using that arrow, and fit it onto the label. Then I'll select all, and down on the bottom right, you can't see it here is flatten so once you select and flatten then it's all joined together as one otherwise it won't be together the words the text will be separate then each one I just click it right click duplicate click it right click duplicate and I'll move each label over so that I've got a few of them try and position them where you want them and duplicate again um, and with the sizing I can kind of get a few along the top here so then you'll select them all and duplicate that and then you can just drag the whole lot down so then I'll select the, all of that duplicate and you get the two lines and then drag that down so you don't have to continually do each one one by one it's a lot quicker select duplicate drag it down I was just I just loved it when I found out how I could do this it really saved time and then once I've got it everything there I press make up in the corner the screen will do its little spinny wheel thing and then it comes up in the map on the map for you so I'll just um, press make it print it and then put it into the Cricut So I've also got these snappy coolers, they're called. They're actually, you know, those slappy, they like slap around your wrist. So they, they slap around your can. Um, they're really popular too, but I've got them packaged like this and I made the tops and I put them in the bag, but a lot of people are still not sure what they are. So I'm actually gonna print out, um, I'm printing out on the Cricut more of those round tags which is going to be like a brand so everything will be relating to the same pink brand with the black um, similar font they'll say what it is and it'll have a price on it so i've got to do these one
So I'm always looking for great ways of packaging. Um, I'm always looking on Pinterest or Google or other markets, you know, and I think packaging is important. So these are the wine stoppers that I've, I've put some focal beads on and some pretty bling and, you know, they're going with wine bottle. And how to display them is always either in a pen stand or, you know, in something. So I've actually decided to just put them in these packets and I've got the sticker here that says what it is and the price. And then I just put a business card in behind and then you can buy these hang, hang tabs. Um, they're just on Timu or Amazon um, and they just stick on the back. So then I can actually hang them off of a display instead of having them on the counter. So if I don't, you know, if you don't have much room and you want to hang them, great little idea, I thought. So yeah, I'm going to see how they go. I can say it looks great and it might, you know, I think it's wonderful, but who knows? Um, the market will show, like whether they sell or not. Um, so anyway, I'll let you know how they go. And here is my finished mock tables. These are the two tables. So I've got one side and the other side. That's how I think I'll do it. So it is Friday afternoon and I've got a little bit of help from my son and his girlfriend Infinity and we are packing the car. So once it's all packed up, uh, it's really easy the next day. Today's the day. Been waiting for a year, so hopefully today is going to be awesome. So we're on our way. We've got an hour drive, and then we'll be spending a couple of hours packing everything up uh, onto the table and making the display look beautiful. So let's go. Should be good. Should be good. Let's go. Let's do it. We Unfortunately, I didn't get much footage um, as soon as the doors opened, it just got really, really packed. There was people everywhere. Oh, it's been busy. It's been busy. And now it's time for a bit of a yummy lunch. Time for lunch. There we go. Sandwiches. Yes, yes. Oh, well, it's a bit quiet. It's been really good. And, yeah. I think everyone's slowed down to have lunch. So yeah. We will yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to rest. 
Okay, well, anyway, it is now Monday. Um, it was bedlam. Or I actually went to bed at like 8 o'clock on Saturday night. We were really exhausted. It was a big day and it was really good. And I wanted to talk about did my different packaging make a difference? Did it really help? And, well, yeah, I have to say it did. I made $1,270 in sales and I made 62 sales. And really, it was really only from 9.30 to 1.30, maybe four hours, you could say, of full-on people. And then it was really quiet. So, you know, for that four-hour stint, I made a lot of money. I believe the packaging looked great. It really did help. Um, yeah, so I think it was a very successful day. So just thought I'd let you know, I've got a pop-up happening. It's a four-day one in Rockhampton um, at the Stockland Shopping Centre and then another one for two weeks in the, the first two weeks of December at Gladstone um, Shopping Centro Centre. Uh, yeah, I'm really trying to branch out and get seen so that my small business will grow. So I hope if you are in the area, you pop in and say hi. So if you guys have actually watched this far, then thanks so much. It's been great hanging out with you. It's been really fun showing you my process of how I set up my display and showing you how everything goes behind the scenes. So if you actually like this content and you want to follow along and you enjoy the journey of my small business of watching what I do, Please be sure to, to subscribe and hit that notification button so it lets you know when another video comes up. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.